Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see this another method of inventory valuation that is weighted average price method or you can also call it as average cost method, okay? Avco method. So now in the previous videos, we have seen FIFO, LIFO and simple average price method, yes? Now here, let's discuss this weighted average price method. See here, it's very simple. In weighted average price method, what do we do is, we take price as well as quantity into the consideration while calculating the average, okay? What? The price as well as the quantity. But in simple average price method, the previous method, we didn't use to consider the quantity. Only price was taken into consideration. We used to take an average of prices, yes? but here the quantity as well as price is taken into consideration let's understand this it's very simple see here let's say the production department is in need of 100 quantity of raw materials so it made a request to the warehouse to send those 100 quantity now how will you send the 100 quantity at what price you will send see it's very simple let's say you have you know these receipts let's say on 1st january you receive 200 quantity at price 5 and January 2, 300 quantity at price 4. On January 3, 450 quantity at price 6. So now what are you going to do is, here simple thing is how to calculate the weighted average price. So it's very simple. See here, what are you going to do? Whatever stock that you have on your hand, right, in your warehouse, whatever stock you have, you are going to take the cost of that stock. You have to send 100 quantity, but at what price? How did I get this 5.15? That's what is important, right? So see here, what are you going to do is, whatever stock you have in your warehouse, you are going to find the cost of that. It will be easily available to you. What is the cost of the stock that you have, right? So you are going to take the cost, the total cost of the stock available and divide it by the number of quantity that is available in your stock, okay? That is there in your warehouse. You're just going to divide this. See here, quantity available, this is quantity available and this is cost. So cost divided by quantity available, you will get weighted average price. So see here, let me show you. Yeah, so the total cost is here, see, 4,900. And the quantity is 950. So 4,900 divided by 950, that is equal to how much? That is equal to 5.15. Yes, so that would be your weighted average price. At that price, you are going to send those 100 quantity. So this is how you have to price your issue of materials. Okay, how? Take the total cost of whatever that is available. Yeah and then divide it by the quantity that is available. Simple as that. You will get the average cost of per unit. Okay, that is why it is also called as average cost method. Understood? It's very simple. See here, this method uses total cost of material. Yeah, total cost of material available for issue. Yeah, this is available for issue, right? These materials. So cost of available stock. Okay, divided by the quantity available. This is the quantity available for issue. Simple as that. Price equal to total cost of materials divided by total quantity. That is how you are going to find the weighted average price. Yeah, and at that price, you are going to make issue. So whenever you are going to make issue to the production department, what you have to do? You have to calculate weighted average price. Okay, the total cost that is available divided by total quantity that is available. Simple as that. So this is how you are going to calculate the weighted average price. And here, it's not like simple average price method. Here we are taking the quantity into account as well as price. So that is why we are taking the cost because in the cost, there is price also quantity element also, right? And you're dividing it by the quantity, right? So both are taken into consideration, price as well as quantity. That is why it is called weighted average price method. Okay, both the factors are taken into consideration, fine? So this is how you are going to issue the materials from the store, simple. Now let's go to the problem. After seeing the problem, you will understand it better. Okay, now here we have the problem. See here, it's very simple. From the following information, prepared stores ledger account under weighted average price method. Now here they have given us the information, but this information is not in proper order. We have a receipt side and issue side. So you can't say this is first transaction, second transaction, third transaction. It's jumbled up. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to go along with the dates. The first transaction would be 3rd October, second transaction 5th October, and then 13th October, 15th October, and then 23rd October, and then 25th October. That's how you have to go about it. Yeah, if it's jumbled up, then you have to go along with the dates and you will never make a mistake, right? So now let's solve this problem. So see here, the first transaction that we have got is on 3rd October, 2020. Yeah, it's a receipt. We have received 1000 units at rupees eight. Simple, take it to the receipts column. Yeah, on 3rd October, what we have received? 1000 quantity at the price eight. So if you put that into calculator, 1000 quantity we have received at the price eight. So the cost would be 8000. 
right so 1000 8 8000 now you have to copy that exactly into your balance column that means you have 1000 quantity of costing 8000 in your warehouse simple right so now what happened the second transaction that is on 5th october 2020 we have issued 800 units 800 units are going out but at what price that is what is very important right so now it will be at weighted average price now how will you calculate weighted average price it's very simple cost yeah whatever cost is there yeah of the available material the total cost you have to take divided by the quantity that is available so we have got thousand quantity in our warehouse and the cost of that available quantity is 8000 simple divide that 8000 cost yeah 8000 cost divided by 1000 quantity that is equal to 8 the price would be the weighted average price would be 8 the simple you are going to send those 800 units at the price 8 fine so if you put that into calculator 800 into 8 that is equal to 6400 simple so this is how you are going to make the issue but now how will you update the balance column it's very simple issues means subtract yes we have seen that in simple average so simple thing what you have to do is you are just going to deduct these okay so see how i'm going to do that we had thousand quantity and then we have sent out 800 quantity so now we are left with 200 quantity simple yes and then we had cost 8000 and then 6400 cost is going out so just deduct that 8000 minus 6400 then it is equal to 1600 yeah that would be our new cost of 200 quantity simple so this is what you have to do okay here we will not take any prices because the prices in the balance column is irrelevant we are making the issues at weighted average price right each time we are doing what cost divided by total quantity total cost divided by total quantity and we are finding out the average prices at which we are going to make the issues so the prices in the balance columns are irrelevant so you can just leave it empty fine so now what do we have now after doing this issue we have 200 quantity costing 1600 fine then what happened see on 13th october yeah we are done with 3rd october 5th october and the next date is 13th october so on 13th october what is happening we are receiving 1800 units at the price 8.60 fine it's a receipt take it into the receipt column on 13 october we are receiving 1800 quantity at the price 8.60 so if you put that into calculator 1800 into 8.60 you get what 15480 that would be the cost 15480 right so what do you do here when you get a receipt yeah when you purchase simple thing you just have to combine it with whatever you have in the balance column in FIFO and LIFO what we used to do we copy this below yeah whatever we have in balance and then take it below here we are not going to do that here whenever we make a purchase yeah whenever we get a receipt we just combine it with whatever we have so we had 200 quantity of cost 1600 so now we have got 1800 quantity new quantity which we have purchased and the new cost is 15480 of this quantity yeah so now we are just going to combine it with that 200 quantity right so 200 plus 1800 200 plus 1800 that is equal to 2000 so 2000 will be our new quantity and then the cost would be see here 1600 old cost yeah the cost of the balance and then the new cost of purchase that is 15480 so just add that together 15480 plus 1600 that is equal to 17080 yeah 17080 rupees so this will be our balance okay this is what we have now in our warehouse 2000 quantity costing 17080 rupees fine and then what happens see here and then on 15th october we have made another issue of 800 units 800 units are going out issues on 15th october simple take it into the issue column 15th october we are making an issue of 800 units but at what price weighted average price and how do we calculate that very simple whatever you have in the balance column yeah you have to use that the total cost of the materials available that is 17080 total cost 17080 yeah divided by the quantity that is available in the warehouse 2000 quantity yeah so divided by 2000 then you will get the weighted average price that is equal to 8.54 at this weighted average price you are going to make the issue yeah so 800 into 8.54 800 into 8.54 that is equal to 6832 this will be your the cost of this 800 quantity that is going to be issued fine 
So now issue is what? It's subtract, right? We deduct that. So simple thing, what you are going to do is, yeah, we had 2000 quantity, we have issued 800, 800 is going out, just deduct that. We had 2000 quantity in our warehouse, we have sent out 800 quantity minus 800, that is equal to 1200. Yeah, we are left with 1200. Okay, and then the cost of 2000 was how much? 17080. Yeah, 17080 cost we had in the balance. But then we sent out materials costing 6832. So now you just have to deduct the cost of the materials that went out. Simple issues minus, that's it. That's all you have to understand. So 17080 minus 6832. So you get answer as 10248. That would be your new cost of 1200 quantity. Simple, right? And then what? Then what happened? See, on 23rd October 2020, we have got another receipt, see here, of 1200 units at price 7.60. Fine, it's a receipt, right? So take it into the receipt column. On 23rd October, we are receiving 1200 quantity at the price 7.60. Just put that into calculator, 1200 into 7.60, that is equal to how much? 9120, yeah, the cost, right? So now, what do you do whenever you get a purchase? In average methods, you just combine it with whatever you have in the balance column. Add them together. Yeah, just combine them. Fine. You had 1200 in balance column. Yeah, at the price 10,248. Now, what are you going to do is just combine it. Add them up. Yeah, so 1200 plus 1200. Yeah, 1200 plus 1200. That is equal to 2400. Fine. This is our new quantity after making that purchase. We combined it together. And then the cost also you have to combine. The old cost was 10,248. Now new quantity is coming in, costing 9,120. Add them up together. Yeah, 10,248 plus 9,120. That is equal to 19,368. Simple, 19,368. Then what? Then what is happening? Go on to the next transaction. On 25th October 2020, what is happening? You are issuing 1,200 units. But at what price? Weighted average price. So let's calculate that. It's very simple. See here, 1200 units are going out. At what price? Weighted average price. So how do you calculate that? It's very simple. Take the total cost of available materials. That is 19,368. 19,368. Yeah. Divided by the total quantity that is available. That is 2400. Divided by 2400. Simple. So if you divide those two together, you get 8.07 as your weighted average price so use that price to make this issue 1200 into 8.07 yeah so 1200 into 8.07 that is equal to 9684 simple so now what are you going to do now you had 2400 you have sent out 1200 just deduct that that's what we do we deduct all the issues to find out the balances so 2400 quantity you had minus 1200 which you sent out so you are left with 1200 yes simple and then the cost also you had 2400 quantity costing 19368 19368 and then you sent out materials costing 9684 so just deduct that to find out the new cost yeah that is equal to 9684 fine simple right it's very simple in average method the main thing is what you do is you don't take anything in prices column yeah and then whenever you get a purchase you just combine it you just combine it with whatever you have in the balance column add them up together yeah yes that is what you do and here to find out the prices the average prices, the weighted average prices all you do is total cost that is available yeah divided by the total quantity that is available that's it that's all you do and you get average prices weighted average prices and at those prices you are going to make issues simple as that yeah this is how you are going to do weighted average price it's very simple i find this one very very easy yeah it's even easier than simple average also yeah so this is how you have to do weighted average price method fine easy right i know it's very easy